You are listening to Sit in the Stalls on Box Office Radio with Reese and Claire. Make sure you head on over to our social medias and give us a cheeky little follow. We are at Sit in the Stalls and at Box Office Radio. Now, our next guest is someone that myself and Claire are both huge fans of from the moment they walked into the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race. A true triple threat, not only in the drag scene, but in musicals, plays, TV, films, you name it, they have done it all. And now our guest is bringing their show together again, again on a UK tour so please bow down to the winner of season five from RuPaul's Drag Race Jinx Monsoon how are you? I'm wonderful thank you and I hope you don't mind but I uh, I brought along my partner in crime major scales as well thought I'd poke in He's you, very nosy that way. <laughs> you have beaten me to it because it was my next intro there, welcoming the a fantastic major <laughs> scales as well. Jinx, you can just take over the whole interview if you want. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be talking about um, what, where you get the best chicken nuggets. Mm. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's, of course. Now you can't be, yeah, you can't be the chicken select at McDonald's. Mm. But, um, well, you really know your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. We're, we're such foodies here as well. We talk about food all the time, even though we're a theatre and arts radio show. But we are here to talk about your amazing, amazing tour together again, again, which, you know, Jinx and Major are bringing to the UK as well. So, Jinx, I'm going to come to you first. Talk to us about the show. What can we expect to see? Okay, so this show is set in the year 2065. Um, Jinx Monsoon and Major Scales are now in their 70s, and they have come together again for the first time in decades to do a reunion tour um, and reflect and do a retrospective on their careers. Uh, But what that means for the audience is two people in their 30s are playing themselves in their 70s, reflecting on their career that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we kind of we kind of pick up where today leaves off and jump 65 uh, jump 45 years into the future and then reflect on all the things that have happened between now and then. So, it's a hypothetical retrospective. I'm Did that totally sell here it for, for you? <laughs> and you've absolutely sold. Interview done and dusted. I'm sold. We'll all go buy tickets. But I mean, it absolutely <laughs> sounds fantastic. And when we've been researching the show, um, it's just, it, it, we absolutely love like this style of show as well. You know, like you come from a comedy theatre background and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And, you know, I think it is something that brings a, a fresh light after the pandemic of two years, shall we just say. So... <laughs> Um, Major, I'm going to come to you. What is it like getting to perform, will be getting to perform this show in the UK? What do you think UK audiences will want to get from this show as such, from watching it? Well, you know, first of all, it's just exciting to be able to do it. But, you know, we were scheduled in 2020. It got postponed. It got postponed. So, first of all, we're just excited to be able to bring the show that people wanted to see in the first place. (laughs) Um, And then, uh, as well as that, I think... You know, Jinx and I share a sort of weirdo wavelength with the audiences that we have in the UK. We all get certain references and, you know, I I think it'll just be fun to reconnect with that crowd and have that, that fun conversation again, you know. Oh, absolutely. And we're so here for it. We absolutely want this. And like you say, you've waited so long to do this because of this small little thing called coronavirus. Um, So Jinx, how did you come up, and Major as well, this is probably aimed at both of you, how did you come up with the concept for this show? Like, where did it all start? Well, I think this might be our eight or ninth Uh, original show that we've created together and like all of our shows that we've created together it starts with a really stupid idea yes um (laughs) we kind of what what we originally planned on doing was a best of show um so that we could cut ourselves a break one year and not like um you know break our backs writing a brand new script but like kind of doing a patchwork of all our best moments from our previous shows. And 
We agreed to do that, but then I said, I want to put it in a framing device that makes it feel like more than just a best of show. And then I said, what if we played ourselves in our 70s and we were reflecting all, back on all our greatest hits? And then soon I was just getting too many ideas for what would be fun to perform in our 70s that we started replacing the best of it numbers with new numbers and then soon we just realized we had written a whole new show and that's kind of what happens every year is i say let's keep it simple let's do a simple idea and then by the time we're performing the show I, uh, together we created some absurdist opus that, <laughs> that no one was expecting <laughs> and and what is it like having that creative freedom to just create your own work you know you are at the forefront of this and you are the idea so what is it like having that creative freedom for any sort of show that you create i think i think for us there's uh, obviously there's a lot of freedom if, you know if we open our sh show this week if we don't like something we tweak it if we find something that works really well we make it bigger we have that freedom to be able to do that but then also you know that's that's a lot of the the stress and responsibility is we get to make it exactly our own and, and live live by whatever we've made. So I guess you'd say double-edged sword, but I think it's certainly worth it. Yeah, and to get to this point, I think it's just taken a lot of work. You know, the first, um, the first show that we took everywhere, we took to New York and we brought it to the UK eventually, um, our show, The Vaudevillians, uh, you know, it's a high concept cabaret show starring drag entertainers. And I remember the first time we were asked to come perform in New York, they just wanted us to do an evening with Jinx Monsoon and sing like my favorite songs for musicals or whatever. And I said, well, we actually have this original show that's already written and ready to go. And they, they were reluctant to take it because, you know, at the time, there weren't as many drag queens in our market, you know, in, in, in the States, doing as high concept of a, a theater show, you know. Um, of course, the drag queens that came before me, who inspired me, that's what they've always done, like Coco Peru and Dina Martina and Barla Jean Merriman and Peaches Christ, they've always done theater-inspired drag shows. But in the drag race fandom, that's not what everyone was doing. So I kind of had to fight for it. And once we did our opening night and the audience went nuts, um, you know, producers from then on kind of trusted us more. And now here we are, like, we'll just say like, hey, we got a show idea. It's us in our 70s. Uh, it's all made up future stuff. And they're like, we love it. Come on, bring it to us. Let's book it. Let's book it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds fantastic. Because you also tour uh, around about Christmas time with Ben de la Creme from Jag Race as well, don't you? Yeah. And how yeah, is... And, um, oh, I was just going to add, and Major Scales writes a lot of the original mm -hmm. music for, for those shows as well. Those, those are also very theatrical, very high concepts. Yeah. <laughs> just generally high. High <laughs> concepts, high. <laughs> We love it. Listen, we've run out of time, unfortunately, but just before you go, we ask a really tough question at the end of our interview, so apologies in advance. Can you sum up the show in three words? We've got two of those words. We've been working. <laughs> what? Oh, what? You Futuristic, retros hypothetical, retrospective. Futuristic, hypothetical, retrospective. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> It was, it was perfect thank you so much listen <laughs> i'm so excited to get down and watch this show and we will give all the information for our listeners about where they can go but just thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and have a chat thank you thanks for having us all have the best your day. <laughs> there you have it together again again is heading out on a uk tour for more information and tickets head to sohotheatre.com Super exciting stuff there from Jinx and Major Scales as well. But